reaction and up reaction and the uh, distress and incredibility of information. And th this is a, a weapon when all people, will, we must not think that all people uh, <coughs> automatically uh, invest information as credible, as a reflect of reality, as a representation. Uh, that's maybe an illusion of a critical uh, thought. Uh, but uh, uh, think that people must be uh, protected, maybe against information, against disinformation. But I mean that the excess <coughs> of information uh, uh, provokes an, a sort of immunity, immunity against this, uh, this negative uh, aspect of uh, images and information. Then there is a, a strange game between the, the positive and the negative in this very excess of uh, images. But we, that, uh, all that is uh, out of control. Mm -hmm. This excess is out of control. And the, the result is that information becomes the event in itself. That is, the, not the event becomes information, so, but information becomes the very event of our world. And uh, this is a, a vicious uh, circle. Mm -hmm. is that a vicious circle? Yeah. yeah. But it is again uh, the question if silence, Heidegger called it the origin of language, das Geläut der Stille, nicht? is that not, not only the, the images, also the word language has to learn to go back to the to armut, to the silence, in order to, to, nicht? to resist and to get a, an opening again for a different uh, kind of uh, image. Sure. That is what you are after too, you know, that is your feeling that there might be a possibility and exactly the excess that what seemed to be so powerful which demonstrates his powerlessness in the moment it turns on our indifference, you know. Yes. The images don't work, I mean, even the images of the Abu Dhabi thing, you know, after they have shown it so many times in Arab television. The Arab street is not whatever, it's not Abu Dhabi, yeah, yeah, Abu, Abu something, you know. <laughs> Before I start uh, breaking my tongue, you know, it's just, we you know what we are talking What is a word? Nothing, you know. Okay, but let's go and open up for everyone now, the discussion. Here, you have a chance to tell him what is going on after the orgy. What are we going to do after the orgy? Huh? That is you. That is my favorite quote of you. After your orgy, what are we going to do after the orgy? That is our. Uh, yeah. Uh, once we enter into this age of the simulation, the simulacra of the image, the image is purely tautological and information is almost meaningless. Does it not, in a certain sense, turn us back towards the existential, towards a different type of meaning, towards, you know, you deny it exists, but a reality of living, of the noise of life. Uh, I must have this uh, 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 No, no, uh, now uh, you can do it in French. Uh, uh, speak French. Oh, yes. It's not Mark. Mark is a bad guy. Can, you, can you ask the question again in a short form? In a short form? Okay. Um, after the, the simulacra of the image, where all images are tautological, are we not turned towards the existential, towards the living, towards the noise of life? Uh, Alors après le 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 moment et il faut garder de, de, du simulacre et de la tautologie liée au simulacre et on n'est pas poussé plutôt vers une situation où la, la vie et la, la réalité retournent d'une d'une nouvelle façon. Uh, I, I don't think so. I don't think it's a, a return, a possible return from simulation to the real as it was before, if it, if it was before, uh, if it, it exists uh, uh, ever a, a, a supposed, a so-called reality. But suppose it was one, uh, as soon as the simulacrum, as the sphere of simulacrum, the reality is transfused into into his uh, his own image, into the return image, return image back. Uh, it is no it's no possibility of an uh, 
of a new evocation of a, of a real as real because it was a, a reality is not a fact that's not really as uh, as factual uh, reality reality is a, is a principle the uh, the objects real objects don't exist without without the caution of a principle of rationality and principle of representation. There is no real without representation. If simulation capture uh, the system of representation or, or bring this short circuit of representation so that there is no distance anymore between the represented and the, and the, the representant, uh, also politically, eh, of course, uh, then there is no principle of, uh, of uh, representation. And then, uh, without representation, it's no real at all. Hmm? Uh, we, we get in the hyper-real, hyper-reality, and this is a substitution of, a, of an, uh, another reality, what I should, I should call uh, uh, integral reality. That is reality without its principle, its principle of representation. Reality deprived of any uh, distance, of any uh, analysis, possible analysis, uh, a pure image of it. And in this short series, that is uh, uh, the, the, value, the reality as value, hmm, as an uh, order of things, rational order of things, objectivity and so on, are lost. Now are lost. I mean, there is no, no return. But maybe it's a uh, Happens something, uh, something happens beyond this loss of uh, of reality. Uh, Hyper reality is maybe I don't know the final point, the final solution, because it's uh, it uh, it has no principle. That it can it can be disturbed and, and destroyed by by itself. It's a sort of revenge. Uh, Hyper reality is a mechanism. It is a big huge machinery that uh, at an extreme point uh, destroys itself, perturbs and destroys itself. And the excess of this hyper-reality uh, uh, brings people to, to this point uh, where they, uh, they recover a sort of immunity in, uh, in, in so far as they don't believe anymore in what he says, or in the simulacre, and, and so on. Hmm? They consume, they use uh, simulacres, they use simulations, they, they are fascinated from it, yeah. But maybe it's, uh, I hope so, hmm? but it's, it remains a, a, a field of uh, immunity, of singularity, uh, but it's uh, more and more difficult to share this new chance. Hmm? Uh, but this new chance, uh, I mean, it exists, maybe, but not in the, on the field of reality. It's in a, another field of poetic singularity or initiation or, or something like that. Uh, but no more uh, as, a, as an older uh, conventional uh, reality. This is for us uh, lost. Uh, but is it not obsolete? Absolute, absolute, but maybe it's not a, not a bad fate. Maybe it's a new chance. And also, on this border, on, on this grenze, there we, are, we learned that it's a quite a rich uh, field in which we can uh, invent new descriptive um, elements like Bois, which is formless. Nicht? Formless is now a, a form in which we can describe What's, uh, what's going on. And it seems like a, 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 a joke, but he made his whole living on it, you know, and showed how the, how the artists have really opened up this and allowed us nicht, nicht, this out form to encounter form, encounter some description uh, in, in the world. Also, it is not so that it's just either representation or a presence, so on, on the border there are many uh, different uh, perspectives are opening up.